Good morning everybody, what's the story? Chris over here in Denmark and today we're going to do something that a lot of you know. This is a staple in a lot of households back home in Ireland. I'm talking about apple tart, alright? Now a few people the other day, they said that they like to do this on a plate. And you know, this is something that I'm very accustomed to myself. This is something I grew up with. My granda I used to bake them on plates and we'd have them on a Sunday. You know, a bit of fresh cream. Some people also said that they like custard. So I'm gonna do a little custard as well, a homemade custard. Uh, you can also get some boards, boards custard. Do that instead, that's up to yourself. Okay, so this apple tart, we're gonna do it on a plate. I'm gonna make a nice short crust pastry. This is very easy, very simple. You just wanna keep your ingredients very cold, all right? We're gonna get a nice flaky short crust pastry. Okay, like always, I'm not gonna waffle on too much. Let's get straight down to business. Here we go, Chris's. That was it. Okay, very quickly, let's get started. Here we go. Here's our flour. I've kept this in the freezer, okay? Uh, the most important thing with this short crust pastry is to keep everything cold. So I like to put the butter, the flour, and the water into the freezer, all right? I do it after about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna sift this. We want to aerate it a little bit. This will help to keep the pastry light. This is plain flour. I've got 250 grams. All right, butter, butter, butter. All right, this is a European butter here. We've got it over in Denmark, it's Danish, it's called Lorpak. If you can't get that, of course, use the best. Kerrygold, all right? Get yourself some Kerrygold, okay? I'm not gonna cut this into little cubes or anything. We're actually going to grate it in. And what that's going to do is, it's going to evenly distribute the flour around in the dough. When that melts in the oven, it's going to create little pockets of air and it's going to make it nice and flaky. All right? So in we go. Brilliant. Okay, that's that. I've got a pallet knife. Just going to mix that around. Water here, I've got about 160 milliliters. You want to use between 140 to 160. So I'm gonna hold a little bit back, see how it combines, and if we need more, we'll throw it in. Okay. Just mix that around with our knife. We don't want to over it. We don't want the gluten to develop. Once that starts to come together, we use our hand, like this. Beautiful. Bit of flour. And we're just lightly gonna knead this. Just tap it down. You don't want the gluten to be too tight, okay? And you don't want to warm it up either. This is still freezing cold. Grant. Right, that's it. A knife cut into two. Okay, we're gonna roll this out. I'm gonna put this in the fridge until we fill it with the apples, keep it nice and cool, and then we'll stick it into the oven. Just get yourself a freezer bag into the fridge. All right, get yourself a rolling pin, the dough. This plate, it's about 26 centimeters in diameter. Bit of flour. Flour on top. Nice and easy. And you just want to roll this out slightly bigger than the plate, and then we're gonna trim the edge. I like to dust off the excess flour. And nice and easy, just let it fall down, like so. I'll tap it down, get our knife, 
kind of cut at a 45 degree angle, like that. You want to do this all the way around. So I'm going to add this to the other dough in the fridge. And uh, I'm going to put this in the fridge too, keep it cold while we slice up the apples. Okay, moving on to the next step. I've got some Granny Smith apples here. I couldn't get my hands on any cooking apples or Bramley apples. You don't want apples that are too sweet, okay? So we want a nice balance. We want a bit of sourness and a bit of sweetness, all right? Okay, let's peel this. Okay, there we go, that's our five apples. Okay, you can core this or just get a knife. Cut up the sides. There's no real rule to this, just slice them up whatever way you want. So that's it, Some apple slices. Do this with the rest of the apples. Got some sugar here, granulated sugar, and our apple pieces. Just plop them in, <laughs> just plop them in. Just put them in anywhere you want. Okay, it's about half. So two on that one. That's it, you don't want too much either. Okay. Another two teaspoons teaspoons. Another two tablespoons of sugar. Now we've got the other half of the pastry here with the leftover trimmings from the fourth piece. It's always good to have a bit of extra pastry for the top because you're going to get a bit of height from the apples and we'll need enough to be able to cover the whole plate. Okay, so here we go. Again, you just want to roll this out about, about an inch over the side of the plate and then we're going to slice around again. And there you go. Nice and easy. Just let it fall down. Like that. Sorry, you just want to wet the sides too. Make sure it sticks. That's our tart filled, covered. Lift it up again. Knife, 45 degree angle. Slice. Just like that. See here? Nice and easy. And that's it. You know, this leftover pastry here, you can use that to make leaves or other little decorations. I don't have time for that and I'm not in the mood for it. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to do a nice easy edge here. There's different edges you can do. You can use a fork. You can make like a scalloped edge. You put your thumb down and then you get a knife and just a uh, slice. Just do that the whole way around. Or you can even just get a knife and just cut at a diagonal. Like that, all the way around. So I'm gonna mix that up a bit. I'll do a bit of a scalloped edge and we got a fork as well. So what you wanna do is, put your thumb down like that, and then you slice inwards. Then you put your thumb down again, slice inwards. Like that. You get this kind of scalloped edge. All right, I'll take it from above so you can get a better view of how that's done. Just slice behind it at a little diagonal. 
and torn. Put it down again and slice in. You can even dip it in a bit of flour if it sticks. Like that. And you're gonna get that scalloped edge, okay? Like that. Just press down, nice and easy. Now I'm gonna stick this into the fridge just for a sec. We're gonna get some egg yolk and some sugar and a pinch of salt to go on top. You can also just stick this in the oven as is. That's totally up to yourself, all right? I like a bit of color, so uh, let's do that. All right, I've got two egg yolks. These are tiny, these things, look at them. Tiny, what's going on in the shops here? I don't know, they're tiny. Pinch of sugar, good pinch. Salt, pinch of salt. This is gonna add some lovely color, the egg plus the sugar, salt, bit of flavor. I forgot to mention, just prick a few holes in the top. This is to allow any excess steam to get out, so it doesn't get too soggy. It's gonna give a beautiful color. All right, ladies and gents, that's it. I'm gonna stick that into the oven now at 200 degrees Celsius, and I'm gonna bake it for about 30 minutes, and that should be it, okay? In we go, 30 minutes. All right, there we go. And you know what? After all that work, frick it. I'm gonna have two slices. We deserve it. Got the custard. There we go. Pour that on. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Loads of it. And then there's fresh cream as well. Couldn't decide. So I'll have a bit of that. And I'll put this on the side. Some people, they were complaining are saying that they don't like fresh cream or freshly whipped cream on hot apple tart because they don't like the way it melts and turns into a soup all over our plate. So I'm going to stick it here on the side. Oh my god, I'm going to be huge. Look at the size of me already. Whatever, you know. you got to take care of yourself. got to enjoy yourself. Like you're not really taking care of yourself by enjoying yourself like this. All right, but anyway, that's it. going to have a bite of this. Hang on. That is absolutely 100% savage. God. Mm. God, it's lovely. Check that out, look. Look at that. Fresh custard, fresh apple tart, cream. Ah. Roy, I hope you all give that a go. Actually, I'm gonna mill. I'm gonna make another apple tart. I'm gonna mill that myself. All right. Uh, take care. Give it a go. Let me know how you get on, and I'll see you next Thursday. All right. From me, Chris over in Denmark. Slanlat. I'll go score of my See you after.